Welcome back to Eon Network, everyone. I'm Adrian Matt here, and tonight we are once again going to be discussing the controversy dealing and revolving around Smart Schoolboy 9, the man that has really shocked a lot of people out there and really creeping out so many people. The question really is, the golden question, did Smart Schoolboy 9 ever get arrested, or is he actually getting arrested? But we're going to talk about that right now, but before we do, though, I'm joined by my broadcast colleague, none other than Rebel, a.k.a. T, here tonight in this absolutely uh, disturbing video what's up guys it's your boy broken rebel tea time and yes i'm glad to be back with uh my boy adrian let's let's get to the topics yeah and t you know what uh before we get into the authorities and all that stuff i just have to blatantly ask you just a brief statement you heard of smart school boy nine what are your thoughts uh he's a creepy dude uh, creepy, creepy guy. Uh, not even yeah. a dude. He's a creepy monster. Is what I'm going to say. I think that's the best way to put it. A very creepy monster. Because from everything that I've been reading online, <laughs> apparently he has been chasing kids around. He goes to uh, playgrounds and he begins to shoot and film all these different videos of kids. There was one video floating around where apparently he uh, was chasing around a kid. He was literally chasing a kid. But... We're going to go ahead and give the update, though, because the question that everyone's been asking, really, did he get charged? Did he actually get arrested or is he getting arrested? Well, unfortunately, the answer to this is that we have every reason to believe, at least at this moment, that he is indeed still out there because there are no reports indicating that he currently is under investigation. Uh, we've been you know, searching the web and right now we know that Smart School Boy 9 is still a man who's free in the streets. And we can't say this, though. There are reports out there that stated that apparently the authorities were involved with the guy back in the 1990s. Back in the 1990s. Think about that, T. He's been doing this garbage since the 90s. They were doing it back in the 90s, and he's still not locked up. Like, like what are they doing? What what kind of cops were there back in the days? You, you, I was brought up, and you did not nothing? He did not he did not go behind bars. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you 100 percent I mean, what in the world? This guy's been going around for over 20 years, and he's just been all over the place on the internet making all these very disgusting AI generated photos of kids and then posting photos of kids around his house. It's just disgusting. But from what I see here, uh, there are a lot of anecdotes that uh, claim that Smart School Boy 9 does live in Doncaster, at least used to live in Doncaster before he moved to uh, Stretham, London, where everyone believes that that's where he's residing. There is no solid evidence, as I stated, that he actually was arrested in either of those areas. Again, this is just all pure speculation. A lot of people are speculating that he was at least apprehended by the police back in the 90s, although nothing has been confirmed. But what we do know is that it did indeed. He was still around doing this in the 1990s, which is just like I said, it's absolutely mesmerizing to even know that this guy has been into kids and he just hasn't changed. I mean, come on now. It's been almost 30 years at this point in time. And you're going to tell me that this guy has not changed. And this guy for the past nearly 30 years had this, this very weird, sickening mental frame of mind to go out there and try to harm kids. This guy is just disgusting row this guy is a uh, is very sick in the head and needs to go behind bars he needs to go to counseling he needs to um he needs help he needs help real bad and here's my thing about um you know the uh, uk officers you know they are str they are strict like the u.s officers here very strict so i'm just c um concerned and worried like why didn't they do their job like why didn't they investigate even further i just don't understand uh, i do have some information here in which i'm going to go ahead and read out loud uh some very very uh just all in all creepy investigations or i should say, <laughs> creepy information talking about this about the investigations so so um, again online it did say that there was a post uh, a comment that said that uh, he was arrested. Uh, apparently, he was indeed arrested recently. However, that was later taken down because it was later revealed that that was not the case. 
Then later people were able to find out that he apparently may have actually gotten arrested back in the 90s. Although that's still, of course, still not sure if that really was a real report. Uh, but there was someone out there that said this, quote, My wife says that Smart School Boy 9 went to jail for stalking a teenage girl from Hallcross School. And apparently, uh, they were stating how this guy was uh, really, really going after all these kids. And that it was possible that he was arrested because of that. But once again, nothing is verified. So it's just allegations upon allegations. What we do know is that this guy's sick. What we do know is that this guy is heavily obsessed with kids. What we do know is that this guy is heavily obsessed with kids wearing mini boots and wearing uh, school uniforms and talking to them and stalking them and going to playgrounds and making videos about kids and pretending to be a kid online for crying out loud. The man actually truly thinks he has every right to be a 13-year-old, 14-year-old online. Can you imagine how sick you have to be? It literally makes me sick and I'm sure it makes everyone sick. Oh, it makes me sick to my stomach just, just thinking about it and just talking about it. You know, it makes me um want to you know uh, it, it turns my stomach it, it does turn my stomach oh it does and uh, something for, and, for, yep and something needs to happen something needs to happen to this guy he needs he needs to go for life he needs to go there for life he has to because i mean come on and you can see the pictures as well. I mean, what's wrong with his face? I mean, who in the world is going to paint themselves all white? I mean, it's almost as if this guy finds pleasure in being creepy. He, he seems accomplished, I guess, maybe. Because, I mean, why are you going out in public looking like that with your, your face all white and very weird makeup? And not just that, but also your, your tongue outside and your mouth just completely open and... I don't know. It's like I said, it just gives me the uh, the heebie-jeebies, as that old saying goes. But yeah, uh, there's some yes. people, yeah, there's some people out there that are saying that um, we have seen all the posts and it's getting out of hand, and that it will be. It's going to be. So this is actually coming from some sites out there that are telling people to stop posting about this guy. And this was the only. Okay, so I'm actually reading this in real time right now. So they actually uh, said, for example, Reddit of all sites said, quote, Yes, we are aware about the nature of the posts, but as far as we are aware, it's being dealt with by local authorities. But that hasn't been verified at all. Nothing has been verified. If there was something verifiable, it would have come out at least now. So that's the question. Is he ever going to go to jail? It's just, I don't know what's wrong with the fact that they're letting this guy freely roaming around the streets. That's the scary part, right? That is the scary part. And and this, they say he's in, in the UK. They say he's in London. Well, what's, come on, UK officers. Do your job. Stop, stop, you know, stop eating them donuts. Go and, and do your job. <laughs> and... and Try to get this guy off the streets. Yeah, indeed. I agree with you 100%. So again, everyone, that was the question. Has he been arrested? Well, what we can say is that it's still not verified, but according to reports, he was arrested back in the 90s for allegedly stalking a teenage girl. And will he get arrested? Well, that's still not confirmed yet either because we're being told by, well, plenty of different reports that either A, he is being investigated, or B, He's not really being investigated and that he's still just freely doing whatever the heck. What we do know, like I said, is that at least his Instagram accounts were taken down. At the very least, his Instagram accounts were taken down. That's good. That's good because he don't need to be on social media. He don't need to be on Instagram. He don't need to be on Twitter, nor TikTok, nor Facebook. You know, that's that. he don't need social accounts. No, not at all. This guy does not need any of that. I can guarantee you that. So we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. There's good. I mean, there's just going to be a lot of information concerning the smart school boy non controversy. As I said, guys, this guy is just out there. This guy has a lot of loose screws up in his mind. If you know what I mean, T I'm going to end it this way with a question. Do you think there's ever going to be justice with this guy? 
I, you know, um, I look. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I don't know about the UK officers, but you know, I'm hoping that there is justice. I know if he ever comes to the U.S., I'm, I'm pretty sure that they will um, get put him in jail out here um, because we are always on top of that. You know, we we on top of that, but. You know, I want people in the comments to know. I want people to put down in the comments. What do you think? Do you guys think uh, that they're gonna um, ever get justice? I mean, is justice gonna be served? And that right there is the burning question. Again, everyone, we're gonna continue to report on the very strange story revolving around the very controversial internet figure by the name of Smart Schoolboy Nine. Before we go off, though, not, he's not we very do smart. have. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna say that's a little bit of a, uh, a very uh, interesting name there. Pretty interesting choice of words to call himself Smart Schoolboy Nine. But anyways, before we go off air, more Killer Clown videos are gonna continue. We actually have an interview with a Killer Clown. We're gonna go ahead and broadcast that the next episode. And again, there's gonna be a lot more Killer Clown stuff. T, I know you're a huge fan of it. Not just of that, course. but also there's gonna be other videos in regards to Smart Schoolboy Nine. So we have a lot of stuff happening in the uh, month of September as we're heading into October for Halloween. A lot of things really going down. I cannot wait. T, I'm sure that I can speak for you as well. Things are really gonna get crazy around here. It's gonna get crazy on Halloween season. You guys be safe, be careful, because you know there's a lot of things that that uh, be happening on Halloween. You know, be um, be smart. Look, look. Um, you know, be be um, mindful of your surroundings. And be very cautious as well. Thanks everybody for joining us for TM Adrian Matt. We'll catch you in the next video. Yeet!